Okay, with any luck, um, this will continue working for the demo. So I've got the, the leap motion. It's tracking the position of both my left and right palm, or my hands. Uh, it's also tracking uh, the angles of each one of my digits. As I do this, I can open and close my hands. The X movement, left hand can move left, can move right. And you can see that it kind of moves through, you know, minus uh, 100 to about 20, and then up to about 190 or so. The right one, again, the same thing in the X. Uh, so that's X position. Y position is up and down, both hands moving up, both hands moving down. So we got 200. They're both at 100. Right hand, I'll bring it to 500. 500, almost 500. And the left hand is at 250 for height. And invert them and watch the Y value. Come on. There we go, Y value is at like 500. Left hand, right hand. Z position, moving closer to you, Z increases. Moving further away, Z decreases. See, now it's negative in front of the sensor. And back. So we got up, down, left, right, both hands independently moving. Awesome. Uh, and then you can close, close the hands. Let's see how well it does. I'm going to close my right thumb, it's at 63 degrees now, increase it, now it's at uh, about 114, close it, 60 to about 114 for my right thumb, left thumb, same, same sort of thing, and it's down around 50 degrees now, both index fingers, uh, left index finger seems to be tracking a little bit better than the, the right one, close all of them, open all of them, so that's, uh, that's the leap motion.